Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today, I'm going to talk to you a bit about protection because this is one of the most asked questions regarding Google Sheets. How do I protect my files? How do I protect my cells? How do I protect my sheets? So I'm going to do a 101 on sheet protection. Uh, I got a lot of bad comments because in the Spanish version, I talk a lot. So I'm going to go directly to the point. But <laughs> before going to the point, I want to invite you to subscribe to my youtube channel or even further to my patreon channel when you can find all the videos of youtube one week earlier we can chat about questions you have about the videos and most important you can download the templates of all the videos in the youtube channel now we can begin so it all depends on what you want to protect let's go from the most obvious one to the least obvious one so the most obvious thing you would like to protect is the file from anyone accessing it. So in Sheets, this is pretty easy because it's just a matter of not sharing it with them. Just by having a Google account and not sharing it with another a Google account and you have the password of your Google account, well, that's that sells it. If you don't want anyone to access your file, then just not don't share your Google account. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. But again, this is the most obvious one. Most of your cases will vary in what you want to protect. One first thing you would want to protect is that people may access your file, but may not be able to edit it. So this is pretty easy also because you just have to share your file. Let's say we're going to share with this person my file, and I'm just going to say that it can only view it. So I'm going to send it and behind the scenes i'm going to open it with my other account here it is and here i can see that i can only see it i could ask the user and send him an email to say that i want to edit it but you cannot do anything you cannot delete you cannot edit uh, a sheet what you can do is copy it so this may be another thing that you want to uh, protect is that you cannot copy it okay so this is more difficult but for now this is the second way to protect is that people cannot edit so maybe you want someone that can view the information but cannot edit it so the easiest way is just sharing it with a view or a comment permit here i could share not only as a viewer but i could also share as a commenter this is that they can view but they can also add some comments this could also be used there is one other thing we could do because again, you saw that I could copy this. If I go back to my, to the other person. So I could copy this, for example, and then paste it here. And that's it. Or I could copy a complete sheet. I could go here and say, copy in and copy in a new sheet. This I could do it. Or I could copy the entire sheet and then work on it i could go file this is spanish okay share and uh, sorry and make a copy this is another thing oh you also can download as an excel and i can print there are things i can do so there's another layer of security we could do and is that in the share menu here in the settings in the advanced settings i will say viewers and commenter can see the option to download print and copy so I'm going to remove this. Let's go to my other sheet again here. It automatically updates and says options for download, print and copy have been inhabilitated for this file. Okay. So now if I want to copy, it does not let me copy. It just shows me the design again. And if I try to download or make a copy, I cannot do it. Okay. So this is a thing I can do. And look, I cannot print either. So if you uncheck this magic button that I did here, again, in the advanced settings, then I could share and be a little less worried that they're going to be able to copy it. They could, you know, they could copy it manually. There are other ways to do it, I'm sure. So, so I don't think it's 100% file proof, but it's a nice extra layer of protection, okay? This is the third way we can protect our files. Now let's go to the, the most real world cases, the most near, the cases that are more common. 
and for example is that I want to protect just one sheet okay just I for example I have I don't know some uh, reports and some data and I want the, the user to be able to input some data but I don't want him to damage the report so I could for example protect only this sheet there are three or four ways of doing it I'm just going to click here I'm going to say protect sheet and automatically it opens this panel here let's give it a bit more zoom I could give a description to the protection, especially if I'm going to have a lot of them. So sheet protection, you could call it or whatever you want. Then this is the first thing, the name, the first property of the protections. The second property is what are you going to protect? Here is a sheet. You could select any of the sheets, not only the one where you selected to protect, it could be that one, so sheet. Then we go to the third step or the third property that is set the permissions. So who is and this is really nice because maybe I don't want to protect from everybody. I just, there are a couple of editors that can protect it, or maybe it's everyone but me, or maybe there are 10 people that can and 10 people that cannot. So it all depends on who is the one that you have shared. And from those people that you have shared with, who don't you want to be able to access or to edit the file or this particular sheet? So you can do two things. The first thing, similar to the data validations, is that you just show, show a warning to be careful. It doesn't serve much purpose, but it's a possibility. The second one, most used, is restrict who can edit this range. It's what we're talking about. There are two ways of going about it. One is uh, protected from everyone but you. Is this only you? So every, every time there's a new uh, person or contact or user I share it with, still it won't protect this is one the other one is to be custom so i select especially who can and who cannot edit you have to be more careful with this because then you need to be reviewing it every time with the new users if you are not going to give permission or not the nice thing about the only you is that you're sure that only you can edit okay but here you can you can be a bit more uh, custom and say that this person can edit yeah But here, given that I am giving the permission, it says, hey, be careful because or you, you need to be aware that this person only has viewer. Remember that we shared only with viewer permit. OK, so you need to give an editor. OK, so I'm not going to share. It was just an error. So here I can see again, we can change the permissions whenever we want. And I prefer to leave it only you. You, can, you could copy the permission from another range. If you have a lot of users, maybe it's easier to do this. OK, only you. And that's done. Now you know that you have a protection. How do you know? When it's a sheet protection, you have this little lock that tells you that there is a protection. You can always go to protect sheet and remove or edit the, the protection. Other way of accessing the protection is with right click, view more selections and protect the range. Another way is here in data, protect sheet and ranges. Another way is to go here to these hide the menus and in this search you're going to search for protect and here you go to protect sheets and ranges yeah or show protected ranges it's the same it goes to the same panel it shows you all the protections you have and you can add new protections and you can edit the protections you already have you can only edit this if you are the owner let's go again to the other guy and Let's go here to data, protect sheets. And here I can see this, but I cannot edit it because I'm out of this protection, you know? I could do another protection, but this protection was made by the administrator, okay? So this is a thing. The owner will never be able to protect the file from itself, okay? From himself. They will always have the, and this is like a bit obvious, uh, they will always have the permission. You can, they cannot, be able to to remove themselves from the file or to protect themselves from the file when people ask me how they, they can protect themselves what i tell them is use two accounts use one account that is the administrator maybe it's one that you don't use that much and you just leave it there and then you have the other google account that is the one for yourself as a user so you separate yourself into users the administrator and the user so the user will have the protections and whenever you want to change protection you need to log in as the administrator this is one workaround you could do okay so we saw the first type of protection is sheet the second or the other type of protection is 
protect here you can see that it says add a sheet or range so we already saw the sheet protection now we can protect just some cells or some range so for example i could stand here in this cell right click go to view more selections and i'm going to say protect range so it already identifies the cell their range or the cell i'm in i could enter a description again cell protection then i'm going to say again set permissions the same as before you could show a warning you can restrict only you or customize depending on your users we're going to hit done and now you can see now i don't have this lock here because the lock only appears when the complete sheet is locked here i only have one range so the only way of knowing if our range is protected is that when you try to edit it let's go to the other account when you try to edit it it cannot be edited okay actually i need first i'm going to share with this guy edit because if not it doesn't make any sense editor save let's go back now i'm going to try to change it now first let's update this and i shouldn't have this bottom of only view again sorry it's in spanish okay so i'm going to try to change this here and when i try to hit something it doesn't it just uh, appears uh, an alert that you're trying to edit a cell or object that is protected okay tell the user if he wants to give, tell the administrator if he wants to give you permission okay so this is the first way to know the second way to know is again go to data and protect sheets and ranges and you can see that this cell is protected okay here you only see the ranges or cells from the sheet the sheets or ranges protected from the sheet you're in if i want to see all of them i'll see show all the protected intervals and i can see that i have two protected intervals in my in this file the first one is this sheet that is a sheet protection and the second one is this b1 that is a cell protection okay so again the only one that can remove or edit the protection is the one that made it in this case it's the same administrator but remember that even if the other user did the protection then the administrator will always be able to access it i can we can do the exercise i'm going to go here and click right click actually i can do just here add a sheet and i'm going to say that the interval is b6 i'm going to protect and here you can see again other oh, sorry because this is in spanish it says only you and you, you will learn from this video not only to protect but a couple of words in spanish here it says only you and the owner of the sheet okay so always the owner of the sheet will be will not be able to protect it okay just an important point to to state final this is the final uh, way of protecting and it's that you can protect all the sheet but a couple of cells so this is really cool because for example here i have a table but i want the user to be able to edit this exchange rate and this inflation just these two cells so how would i do this if i would do it by cell then i would need to do first do this range then do this range then do this other range so this one will remain unprotected but there's a really nice catch and is that you can do this sheet one but an advanced option so again i'm going to click this arrow here say protect sheet i'm going to do sheet minus i'm going to call it and here there is this magic checkbox that says accept certain cells so i say accept certain cells and then i can do some a, a lot of ranges that i'm going to exclude in this case will be b1 b2 so b1 column b2 and i could add i could add more range if i want but this is yet yeah, this is okay then i set the permissions then i say that it's only you and then i click done so in this sheet let's go to the other one in this sheet minus if this guy wants to change something here this guy wants to change something here let's try it will have the alert but if he wants to change the exchange rate to 5000 he can do it okay so it's really a really nice combination of these other two so that's it that is what i want to show you i just wanted to leave you with that note that with google apps script we could do a lot more we could for example let's say you want to protect cell b1 from i don't know 
10 sheets that I have. We could do a bottom, a bottom for that. Or let's say I want to protect uh, all, this, all the sheets. I have 50 sheets and I want to protect all of them minus one. Let's say I want to export the protection to another file. So it could do this. So I have a 50 lesson course in my Spanish Academy and I hope to launch it soon for English speakers. Uh, but just to let you know that with Google Apps Script, we can do, we could do a lot, a lot more. But this is just, but based on these three, five principles, the principle of having an account, the principle of protecting sheets and protecting cells or protecting sheets minus a couple of cells. But there's a lot, a lot we could do with Google Apps Script. You just let me know if there's something you want to do and we could try to do it in a future video. Just one final exercise I want to do is that I'm going to copy this, say file, oh, not here in the administrator, here, file and make a copy. Copy of protection, let's make the copy. So you can see that the protections are uh, inherited. So the protections, and here if I say, if I look at share, it's shared, it is not shared, okay? So this is why sometimes it's better to do the protections only you, because if you have a lot of people, then when you copy it, then maybe the same people are not going to, to be, to have the permits. Again, let's do file, make a copy. And you can see here, it, there's an option that says share it with the same people. So you need to be careful to do it if you have a lot of people shared with. So the protections remain without errors that you share it with the same people. Okay, just a final comment regarding copies. That's it. So I hope this is helpful. And if you like it, then you can find not only the template, but you can ask me particularities about this in the Patreon page. Or you can just subscribe to the channel that also you can ask me things in the comments. I tend to, it, it tends to be a bit delayed because there are a lot of comments, but I will also try to answer you always. Thank you so much. See you next time. And thanks to all my patrons. You're the best.